How to set the transducer and suction transducer calibration. When calibrating, you'll need to set both the pressure display and normal system pressure to zero PSI if possible. If the sense line pressure can be drained to zero PSI, set the controller to the manual start only option and proceed with draining the sense line and calibration. Setting your controller to manual start only. To set manual start only, press setup, then advanced setup. Enter user for both the username and password and press login on the bottom right corner of the display. Press previous to return to the main menu. From here, press advanced setup, option setup, and check if the deluge or remote options are enabled. If so, press the button to disable the deluge or remote option. Once both are disabled, press Next, then Manual Start Only. Press Accept. The controller will now only start with the local start push button. Drain the sense line pressure to zero and install the transducer. Press Setup then the advanced setup and log in by entering service as both the username and password. Log in and return to the main menu. Setting the transducer calibration. Go to setup, then advanced setup, service, and analog cal. Under system pressure, set zero and zero PSI should show in the narrow blue box. Repressurize the system. Read the system pressure with a known calibrated analog gauge. Press the box below the narrow blue band and on the next screen, enter the pressure value you took with the analog gauge. Then press enter. Press set cal and the entered value should now be in the narrow blue band box. Press back or escape to return to the main menu and verify the pressure is displayed correctly, with a yellow box indicating manual start only. Confirming your controller is ready for use. Now this is important, you must now re-enable pressure start demand. From the home page, press advanced setup, options setup, press next, then manual start only. Press Decline. The controller is now enabled for a pressure start demand. If you originally disabled the deluge or remote start options, re-enable them by going to Advanced Setup, Options Setup, and press the button to enable the deluge or remote options. Finally, you must verify the controller will start with a pressure demand by dropping the sense line pressure to a point below the pressure trip point and witness the pump running.